Hello everybody, I'm Billabob from BVR, and today we're going... No. Hello everybody, I'm Billabob from BVR, and welcome to Rec Room Weekly. Hello everybody, I'm Billabob from BVR, and today... No, uh, man. This dorm room is throwing off my... my skill. I'm sick of this place. I think I need to move out. Where would I even move out to? Uh, maybe I can get like a studio or something. Here, I can check on my controller computer. Not seeing too many good... Th huh. Hey, that place looks kind of nice. Alright, I can go there. Well, you know, before I leave, I should probably make sure I pack up everything that's important to me. Maybe... I and... alright. Well, that should be about everything. Alright, wow, well... Here I go. Whoa, this place is nice. Oh man, look at that view. There's like a whole city out there. I didn't have that in my dorm room. Hello everybody, I'm Billabob from BVR and this is Rec Room Weekly. I'm happy to report that now we have a live audience. Hey, you over there, I know you're a big Rec Room Weekly fan. And you, right there. You like Rec Room Weekly? I hope so. Thank you so much to Clo and Silent for building this great studio for me. It's gonna be in pretty much all future episodes from now on. So, uh, let me know what you think of it. Let me know what you think of the new style, but I guess we should probably get into the news. So first, let's talk about something relating to contests. And that is the top 10 and top 5 in each category of the Movie Magic Build Contest. The top 10 rooms were announced, so basically all the co-owners of all of these rooms you can see on screen right now are going to be getting some prizes. There's quite a few, so I'm not gonna go through them individually, but congratulations to anyone who has their room on this list. But then, of course, we've got the top five rooms in each category as well. And these are the rooms that get to go to the Roomies, which is Rec Room's live award show for announcing the build contest winners. And they'll basically have a shot at some even better prizes. I just had this great idea. What if I, like, move to the side while it scrolls by me over here? Oh my gosh. Again, there's so many of these. I'm not gonna go through them all, but big congratulations to anyone who is on this list. The Roomies are gonna be taking place on this Saturday. So, of course, next Rec Room Weekly, I'll be going over the winners of the contest. And with that, let's get into this week's weekly rotation of items. Okay, wait, I gotta show you how cool it is. I can just clench my fist like this and then point and then boom. And then look and then boom. Table is gone. Green screen is up. The weekly skin for this week is a new one. It is the green plaid hunter's crossbow skin. And I think I've already made my opinions about green plaid pretty clear, so I'm not gonna go into it too much, but uh, this looks terrible. And here's some of the challenges that you can do to get this weekly. There's only one brand new item in the rec center for this week, and that is the brown hoodie jacket. And I know I've, like, kind of been an advocate for more hoodies in rec room, but, I mean, I, I like the innovation, I guess. I don't know, I just think I don't like the brown, maybe. I'm not really sure what about it it is. I, I just, I'm not a massive fan of this one, but I appreciate the effort. The invention tower theme for this week is Jumbotron. Wow, look at how cool all of these inventions are. Look at that little mouse bot. Oh! Hey, it's me. Hey, what's up? Hi. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna I have no idea what I said now. in the past. Ooh. I already forgot, so I have no idea how I'm gonna sync this up in post. Or maybe I just won't sync it up, so it's okay, like kind have, of a funny no, moment, you know? Yeah. Anyways, if you want some premium inventions under that category, make sure to go check out the Invention Tower and check it out. That's it. That's, that's, that's the Invention Tower. In other news, there was also a new patch this week. And by this week, I mean last night, when I was about ready to upload this video. Uh, so... This is actually recorded the day after everything else you just saw. In this patch, there were a couple of balance changes to Rec Royale, the most important of which being that they nerfed the flintlock so you can't one-shot people if you get a headshot now. They also fixed a bunch of bugs with Rec Royale, the biggest one being where, like, if you died, sometimes you wouldn't actually die and you could keep moving around. Now, here's something pretty big. It says that they disabled most rich text tags for buttons. And if you don't know what that means, it's basically just something that people were using to make glass and kind of transparency without actually having transparency in the game yet. For example, this green screen here is actually a rich text button, and you can see here, I've modified it to be transparent, so you can see kind of... Because most people use the rich text stuff to just, like, make transparency like this. But you can see here, even though in the patch notes they said they removed most rich text functions, the size and color ones are still working just fine. The rotation one is also still working just fine, I tested that earlier. And those are basically the big three that people use to get glass materials like this. So classifying it as most rich text functions being removed, I don't know if that's exactly fair, because the ones that are used most are still here. To be fair though, that's probably a good thing, even though it's technically unsupported, removing this would break a lot of maps and then just look weird without the transparent glass. They added a new vector object. This is basically just a neat little tool that lets you point it in whatever direction you want 
blunt and lets you set a magnitude of the vector, and then it outputs a vector with that magnitude based on the direction it's rotating in. So this is just a useful little thing that people can use to get vector values easier instead of needing to use a vector create every time. And the final change I want to go over is that the physics on the impulse chips has been changed a little bit. Now it's supposedly consistent across platforms because on PC VR and PS VR before, different values would do different things. Recently, I actually made a tutorial on how to make a zero gravity ball in Rec Room, and in that video I mentioned that different values are going to work for different objects and different platforms, but it seems like they've standardized that now. So if you are trying to follow that tutorial, you're still going to have to adjust the numbers a bit. So the tutorial should still work, but I did say originally that you'd probably need to adjust the numbers anyway, so it's not too big of a deal. But yeah, if you've got a zero G setup, you probably have to modify the numbers now to make it work again. And that's about it for this patch. Honestly, the biggest deal to me is that they tried to get rid of the rich text functions. Again, I don't know if they like meant to keep them in the game or if they just kept those three on purpose, but them phasing out this sort of player created glass materials, I think indicates that next update or very soon we should be getting the official glass and transparent materials, which is awesome because that's something people have been asking for for so long now. So I look forward to see what we get next update. So that's going to be it for this week of Rec Room News. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. Again, make sure to let me know what you think of the new setup here. I just crashed back to my dorm room and I'm too lazy to go back to the other room. So uh, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. <laughs> Hey, thanks for making it to the end of the video. You know, if you enjoyed it, there's a subscribe button right there, but, you know, no pressure. Also, I think there's a video you'll enjoy right here, so click on that if you'd like to, and that's about it. See you next time.